Hello and welcome back to another survival where in this episode we're going to be doing some very very fun and interesting stuff. Both things which we haven't really done this season one which we 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 have never actually done in season one or season two. And the other one we have done a little bit not but not a whole lot, especially not after one of the recent updates. But um first off you may wonder why are there four furnaces right here? And also why on earth are there so much gold in here? <laughs> so let me explain really quickly. The last two times I've had two, uh, we have done two other survival streams where I've been mainly collecting gold. I will leave both of those live streams down below in the in the description. Um, and we have collected gold, specifically all this gold right here. It is a lot, but we need it in order to complete the beacon, and we should have enough in that chest in order to completely fill out the beacon. Um, well, we obviously don't have the beacon yet, but that is what we need to put the beacon on when we do get it to get a full beacon and get all the effects. So that is the goal right there. And before we continue, the absolute best way of getting gold down here in the nether is if you have a diamond pickaxe right here with silk touch because so you can mine up the whole ore, smelt it and get a full ingot out of the ore instead of only a few nuggets. So that has been very, very helpful. Uh, someone told me to do that in the streams and well, I'm very happy we did because otherwise I would have had to get a lot more ores. Um, but don't worry, I know this one is very low durability, but don't worry, we have another one. <laughs> we actually found in the last stream, we found a bastion on our way home. Um, and we managed to get two type of pickaxes, one mending and one new silk touch one. So we combined them and well, here it is. And yeah, that's what, has, that's what has been happening. So, let us first off start off by pretty much making gold blocks. And the easiest to do this is basically opening this and just doing this. There we go. Um, that is 85. I think this should be enough. I've done some calculations and I should only be needing 83 blocks to finish this uh, beacon platform off. Yeah, go away and stop putting stuff on my beacon. Ay, 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 no, 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 no. Actually, I do not have a shield. Um, go away, please. <laughs> go away. Ow. It's annoying I get hit with my own arrows. All right, go away. All right, so let us fill this out. I specifically saved this moment for the video and didn't do it on stream. So here we go. This is a lot of gold blocks to place right here and it is super satisfying. I hope we have enough. We should have enough. Um, oh yeah, I think, yep, we'll definitely have enough. Otherwise we have more down in the barrel that I put aside. Excuse me, fella, could you like, please? There we go. All right, and we have more than enough, actually. There we go. We have two blocks of gold and three gold ingots left over. Look at this. This is the full platform for a full level beacon. And then the beacon goes right there. Boop. Okay. Uh, right, I have gold on. Good. <laughs> of course, we do not have the beacon yet. But hopefully that will happen very, very soon. Also, if you're curious what this wall is right here, that is for the people that super chatted during the streams. So yeah, super chat people will be on this board right here. Now, if we take a look at the season two goals, we have finished all possible advancements, defeat the wither and make a full beacon. Once this is done, we will basically be able to cross this one out as well. So getting this one, this done is really, really cool and also it doesn't look bad at all. Now, with that done, there is something else that I wish to do. We have a lot of gold left over in here. In fact, let me convert some of this into blocks. There we go. I want to barter. And that is kinda in preparation for something, because we need to make potions. And, though these are not actual glass bottles, even though the texture back here <laughs> makes it look like it. But yeah, we need to make some potions. Um, but in order to do that, we need water bottles and the piglins now give us water bottles or have a chance of giving us water bottles. So I want to uh, 
trade. Wait, hold on, where's the ingot? I want to barter with piglins here. And yes, this is a lot of gold, but that shouldn't be a problem because we just got that, so I can always get more. So bartering is probably going to be a huge chunk of this episode because we just, we need, we require, oh, there's a lot of piglins here. We require, actually, I could just right click these guys with it all. Um, we require water bottles to in order to make potions. So it is going to be a matter of giving all these guys gold because we need water bottles. We we need we just we just cannot not have them. Okay, I have boots. That's pretty good, I guess. And I'm gonna right click them just so the small one doesn't pick them up because we don't want. We don't want them to pick it up because they, they won't give us anything good for it. Alright. It's a little bit annoying they're spread out. I could collect them in that area, but eh. I don't want to. This is fine. As long as they don't walk near the edge, we should be good. I'll just have to walk back and forth here a little bit. In order to, uh, <laughs> to reach them all. Okay, he's getting annoyingly far away now. So that's... That's that. Now, if we don't get any water bottles from this gold here, I'm going to be upset. Because we need water bottles. Badly. We need like two, three, but at the very least two. For like strength, also maybe some regeneration as well. Yes, a water bottle. Perfect. Oh, another one. Yes, 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 yes. Give more. I'm just going to use all this gold for bartering. Because this is great. This is really, really good. Actually, I'm just gonna stick with uh, these these four guys over here because I can just give them as soon as they drop it, so they don't move. Oh, they still give fire resistance potions? Huh? That's new, eh? Oh wait, there's another one back here. Hey, buddy, why are you hiding? <laughs> nice. Oh, another one. Oh, we're getting so many. Aren't they supposed to be rare? I mean, I guess I am getting a bunch of other stuff too, but like, huh, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all. This is really, really good. We have like, we have three water bottles now. That is not bad at all. That is really, really not bad. This is really good, actually. Okay, I'm getting way, I'm getting way too much stuff here. Uh. I, I need uh, help. Okay, let us uh, empty the inventory here real quick because I have a lot of stuff. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. And we pretty much used all the gold that we took down with us. But this, this is huge right here. This is a lot of good stuff. We actually got a lot of good stuff. Look at all these uh, design boots. That's really, really good. With soul speed three as well, and look at these iron nuggets. How how many iron ingots? That? That's eleven iron ingots. That's not bad at all. Look at that, and the string as well. That's going to be very useful for making bits. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> if you can't tell. Oh wait, uh, there we go. All right, we have four more golden ingots to spend. These two guys are gonna be the ones. Are we gonna get more or are we just going to get some soul? Okay, soul sided gravel. All right, you know what, whatever we get, I'm not going to complain at all because this is just amazing. Crying obsidian and soul side. All right, good. That was a lot of stuff. So in total, we now have three water bottles here. Three water bottles and we have two fire resistance potions. That's really, really good. And we can buy redstone. Um, in order to increase the fire resistance right here, and we can make potions with these water bottles. All right, I need to spend these water bottles very, very carefully. Now, as this episode is so far only like 10 minutes long, um, we will be preparing some even, some even more for this wither battle, um, at least with the potion wise. We have not been brewing any potions, so we are going to be doing that today. Um, I definitely want redstone dust. Yeah, just redstone dust. I'm actually only going to get two redstone dust, one for the two fires. Actually, if I'm smart, I only need one. 
if I really smart about this, I think I only need one. Yeah, because I could put both of these in here plus another one and put that in right there. So that is going to be pretty good. Oh, look at brewery, even though we haven't brewed anything yet. All right, so potions, 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 potions. Um, what potions is it that we really need? Uh, I want, I'm thinking we could skip the regeneration potion because we do have eight golden apples which are going to give us regeneration then again it's not going to give us super amount of regeneration so having constant regeneration is actually going to be very very beneficial um where do i have my nether ward uh yeah that, that, yeah, yeah whatever <laughs> all right so all of these potions will be need to, all all these water bottles will need to be turned into aqua potions let me think Yes, all of these needs to be turned into awkward potions. So let's do that. I should still have some blaze rod. There we go. Put that in there as fuel. And here we go. We are doing our first brewing right here. And this is not even from like cheating, quote unquote. This is purely done from the nether, brewing these potions. I know the redstone, we did that, uh, we did the, get that from Bob, but technically we don't even need to use that. And there we go, okay, awkward potions. Alright, so, let me think. We can make three potions, and I think I know which ones I want to make. So, we have a guest here that is going to give us regeneration. First off, let's put those out of there, and put them in here. So, guest here is going to give us regeneration. I want another one being strength, I think. I think strength is going to be useful. Um, because one stage will be shooting it, uh, because it's going to try and fly up the wither bars. The other stage is going to be hitting it, and even though we do have sharpness 2 on our sword here, we can always do with a strength 2. So, I think that is going to be another one. And then there is, oh, oh, yes. Um, a night vision potion, so we're actually able to see. I think those three are going to be the potions we need to make. Now, uh, I don't think you can put regeneration to regeneration two. Let me check that. Okay, so I am ha I have the table over here with the regeneration potion and regeneration extended, uh, the normal version lasts for 1 minute and 30 seconds um, and it heals 18 hearts from my understanding but if we make it to regeneration 2 the length is only 22 seconds and it only heals 8.8 .8 hearts um, but of course it is going to be more effective um, hmm. I think we will be making a normal regeneration potion lasting for like a minute and 30 seconds. If I had more, I could make like three regeneration potions and make them all splashable so I could just splash one after the other. But I think this right here is going to be the best course of action. Okay, so I just found another table on the micro freaky. Um, it says potion of regeneration 2 restores 9 health over time in total, one uh, half a heart every 25 ticks, which is 1.25 seconds, but in the uh, normal one, not the regeneration 2 one, but the uh, regeneration normal one, or regeneration 1, <laughs> uh, this is getting complicated, restores 18 hearts over time. And one every 2.5 seconds. Half a heart every 2.5 seconds. Question is, the wither effect. How hard does that hit? Okay, understanding how much the wither effect actually does is a little bit difficult. And I am not understanding it fully. So I think we will be making one normal regeneration potion that is going to last for a third one, uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Hopefully, at least that is going to do a little bit. Um, yeah, hopefully. I really hope that I'm going to make the right choices here. Um, otherwise, feel free to scream at me down in the comment section. <laughs> but anyways, here we have our normal potion of regeneration, which we're going to take out. And I could bump it with redstone, but then it would only last 22 seconds. 
Uh, then again, how long does a wither fight last? This is actually really, really difficult because depending on how long the wither battle will last, making it to a level 2 may be worth it. May not be worth taking the regeneration right away, but wait 8 seconds or so before throwing it, making it into a throwable potion down at our feet. <sighs> this is actually difficult. I'm going to put off the regeneration potion for now. It is currently right here at this state and we can always change uh, what effect it has if we're going to prolong it or if we're going to make regeneration too. We can go ahead though and make the other one, which is going to be the night vision one. Not really that important. Actually, let's make the strength one first because I want to make sure that I do the right moves here. A, a strength potion is definitely going to be worth it. I'm just thinking if the night vision potion is the best one we can make or if there is another type of potion that we can make that is better to use this water bottle for. Okay, I just literally went through um, the entire list of potions that are craftable and it is not... That, that, there's nothing else that really we can make that is going to help us in this battle. So I think night vision is going to be the key factor here so that we are able to properly see around us. Right now I'm just making the strength potion into a strength 2, which is going to put it to 1 minute and 30 seconds, which is going to help us a lot. The wither boss battle should really not take longer than this. So that is the strength part done. Then we're going to go ahead and make one of the less important ones, but nice ones. And that is going to be the night vision potion right here. And we might as well... Um, we have so much iron. We might as well knock that into a... What's it called? A night vision potion, but that is prolonged. We might as well. Three minutes should be plenty, but... Yeah, that, that we have it. We might as well. Alright, three minutes right here should be plenty, but we might as well just make it into an eight minute one. Because why not? We can. And there we go, night vision, eight minutes. So we have strength, two, night vision, and then we will have some form of regeneration. Um, I don't know whether or not to use the glowstone or the redstone. And I think I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Let me know your uh, thoughts of that down below in the comments. Which one is going to be best? Is it best to get it to uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds of regeneration? Wait, is that right? Yeah, I think 1 minute and 30 seconds of regeneration. Or should we make it a regeneration 2 potion only lasting 22 seconds and make it throwable and then use it later on in the battle? After that, we then also have a fire resistance potion just in case of lava, etc. Yeah, I think this is going to be our potion setup. Now I know we are dealing with potions as such, but we are nowhere near ready. We still need two more with the skeleton skulls. I can imagine that could be a stream. Um, and also we do have these two pieces of diamond armor right here, which we can turn into netherite. And as I pointed out in the last two streams I did collecting the gold, we may not require full netherite armor in order to beat the wither, we currently only have five diamonds, but <laughs> I keep thinking it's a skeleton shooting at me. Um, but maybe having netherite helmet, netherite boots, and then fully enchanted level 30 iron armor, uh, like I just played with iron leggings, might be able to cut it with the golden apples and such. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts of that as well down below in the comments. Um, I will be doing some thinking and planning as well off camera. Um, but yeah, let me know your, your thoughts of that down below. But anyways, guys, we are getting very, very close to the Wither Boss battle. We're getting very close. We're preparing the potions. We're getting prepared now, basically, to take him head on. But, unfortunately, this episode is now long enough. I hope you have enjoyed. Leave your feedback down below in the comments, uh, because... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that regeneration potion. And also if you have any other ideas for preparation to do that will help us in the battle. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I hope you are excited for the Wither Boss battle. We are very, very close. I'm not sure what we, what we will be doing in the next episode. But we will, it will probably be crafting armor, enchanting armor, and stuff like that. 
But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.